Hi there, it's Sean from Dragonfly Eye, and today I'll be going through a quick analysis of some in-situ bus stop ads. In this video, I'll be using our hotspots report to see which design matches our goals. So let's start in the study where I'm conducting an ABN test between these three bus stop ad designs, which are being used as part of a new product launch. We have some different colors for the QR codes, as you can see over here. And we want to see what the impact of these different colors are and which one is the winner and which one we should use in our bus stop ads. So our goal is to make sure that our audience sees the key visuals and then sees the QR code in, the, in their gaze path as early as possible. So let's jump into hotspots and see what it tells us. So as you can see over here, we've got clearly marked out hotspots to pixel width accuracy. And these are the areas that human attention is drawn to. These hotspots have a score in the pink box, which is the attention score. And that reflects the probability of perception by default, but can be changed to our share of attention or local attention score metrics. You also notice the white circles with numbers in them connected by arrows. This indicates the gaze path. So it starts at one, then goes to two, three, etc., etc., And it indicates the most likely path that your audience will take through this image. And it allows you to see if your audience sees the hotspots in the way that you intend them to. So as you may have already spotted, version B is the clear winner with a probability perception for the QR code of 19 and being in the fourth position for the gaze plot as opposed to sixth in these two images here. So I hope you found this video insightful and helpful. And if you have any further questions on our metrics, other reports, or how you can use predictive attention insights to supercharge your design processes, get in touch with one of our attention experts at the link below. Thanks so much for your time. Bye for now.